Howdy there, I'm Undead, and today we're on Phantom Forces. Now, I left the title of this video really mysterious. It's just called The Challenge. So let me explain. There's a lot of weapons in Phantom Forces, a lot of which are spread across a lot of different categories. So I've decided to take it upon myself to get 10,000 kills on every single one of the weapons in the game, from primaries and secondaries. I don't know if I want to challenge myself to do that on melees quite yet, I'll be honest. That, that sounds like pain. But I do kind of want to try and see if I can get to 10,000 kills on all the guns. To first test to even see if that's going to be a possibility for me, I'm going to go ahead and try to get 1,000 kills kills on all the primaries starting with assault rifles that was a test if that's even possible and what did i even just do i guess i picked up a tag and then dropped somebody as well or something like that was a lot of xp just out of nowhere that was interesting my challenge for myself is to get tons of kills across multiple weapons in phantom forces i might be playing a lot of phantom forces pretty much now the closest thing that i have to 10,000 kills is probably the ak-12 it's sitting around like 5,200 something kills or whatever currently i'm on the aug a3 i'm trying to get this one to 1,000 kills i'll make another video later on about my progress once again but as of right now i'm halfway through the assault rifles already with 1,000 kills on each one of those assault rifles and i just really want to see if it's possible for me to get at least 1,000 kills on all of my assault rifles and then the rest of my primaries and then after that i can see if it's going to be possible for me to go ahead and get 10,000 kills on all the weapons i'm excited for this challenge i hope that you guys are as well because it's gonna be hard it's not gonna be easy there's some guns and phantom forces that are just not meant to be used up to 10,000 kills but also at the same time i was promising you guys that only crazy and amazing things would happen after my finals were over and oh boy are they over and oh man are my goals already insane this also gives me the opportunity to actually make accurate tier lists in the future because i know that a lot of you guys have been asking for me to create a tier list of some sort and stuff like that so i was kind of you know i i want to make a tier list but i don't want to just give you guys a tier list off of like a guess or an assumption i want to actually go out of my way to play with all the guns myself you get a good amount of kills on all of them so that way I can develop an actual correct opinion and then talk about it. I do want to know what you guys think about this challenge, though. I know that you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy for it, but I'm confident that I'm at least going to be able to get 1,000 kills on all the primaries. Ask that, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty confident regardless. I want to do something crazy on YouTube. I want to do something crazy in a game. And what better ways to do it than this, honestly? Like, I, I it's, it feels like it's going to be a good time. Of course, I will be live streaming this grind as well. And what will more than likely happen is I will let you guys have the ability to join me. That is, unless things get too crazy or out of hand, then I may have to, you know, not let you guys join. Well, it, it's kind of a mess. But either way, I'm going to be livestreaming my entire journey of me getting all the way up to 1,000 kills on all my assault rifles. And if I decide to continue, I'm going to be streaming that as well. After I get 1,000 kills on primaries, I'm probably going to do the same thing for secondaries. See how hard it's going to be with secondaries as well. And then after that, that's, that's when I'm actually going to make the full-on decision on whether or not I want to take on the 10,000 kill challenges. Because at that time i don't know if i'm gonna have like more things for me to have to grind and uh, if that's the case I, it's basically it just comes down to how much time i have to spare and put into grinding if i don't have enough time i don't think i'll be able to go further than 1000 kills but if i'm able to then i'm definitely gonna try and tackle it i just hope that i have the time it's hard to say because i don't know how far out in the future that's gonna be from now but i do aspire and i do have the plans and motivation and drive to succeed and i swear if i I actually do ta try to tackle that 10,000 kill challenge on all of my weapons from primaries to secondaries. I'm going to make sure that I get it done and oh boy, am I going to get it done. That is unless like the game dies or something like that. Who knows? Honestly, okay. When it comes to challenges like this, there might be things that kind of like interrupt it. If that happens, I'm just going to update you guys on the whole entire progress and process of all of that. So it doesn't even matter. But just know that this is what my challenge is. I'm challenging myself because that's how I have more fun playing video games. I recommend setting challenges and goals for yourself, by the way. If you guys want to grind games, that's the best way to do it. And so it's like, I just want to get like tons of kills. So that way I have a reason to play the game a ton, and in turn it gives content to you guys. It's challenging myself, seeing my capabilities, and I, it's just probably gonna be a fun time. 
Honestly, it sounds crazy, I know, but I want this. Over in Bad Business, even, I'm doing crazy challenges there, too. I'm trying to get Damascus Gold on everything. It's basically camo challenges all over there. And ultimately, over there, I'm also getting 10,000 kills on all of the weapons, too. So, yeah, that's the challenge. It's kind of crazy. I'm a little bit insane, but I think it's going to be fun. Also, I'm sorry for this video being a little bit shorter. There's not really much for me to talk about. I mean, I do have all these guns from the AK-12 all the way down to the AK-47 done with 1,000 kills. I'm on the AUG-A3 right now. That's about half of the assault rifles left, which is whatever's below the AUG-A3. After that, I'm probably going to go to scout, do all the PDWs, because PDWs are very cool. Then I'll probably come back to assault and do carbines or the battle rifle. I'm not sure quite yet. Something like that. And yeah.